Hi guys, my name is Temes and in this two-part tutorial uh, we're going to show you how to create this quick video. In part one I showed you how to create the flashing police lights. So let's move on to the next step what we're gonna have to do back to the beginning okay so i'm going to import the background it's going i'm going to put um clouds in the back because it's a transparent image i don't need to rotate this out i just import the clouds and then drop it in it is a hd footage so i'm going to have to scale it up click on the clouds and scale it up a little bit something like that move it in the back and just position it how we want it so when I apply it you can see the clouds are moving that's how you can create a video from a photo you have to put something in a background or the foreground, something what keeps moving, so it gives you that feel like you're watching a video. Okay, the next thing what we're gonna do is click on the cloud and we're going to blur it out. Just type in <coughs> blur by using the Gaussian blur and drop it on the footage. not so much probably put it up the blurness to four yeah that's better all right the next thing what we want to do is um click on the steel and copy paste and what we're gonna do is gonna blur these buildings out because it's at the <clears throat> background it shouldn't be in focus so it should be a little bit blurred out so what I did is um duplicated the steel image then I'm going to click on the top one and I'm going to put a mask around the car I'm going to zoom on it a little bit just a quick one doesn't need to be perfect just something like that quick one once that's done going to have blur it out what I'm gonna do is drop the blur on it and then I'm going to change that to not too much probably to seven might be too much something like that to three four leave it something like that and then I'm going to click on it click on the mask and feather it out a little bit so that means you won't see the edges so just gonna the two image gonna blend into each other okay zoom back a little bit okay looking good another thing what we want to do maybe move the clouds a little bit so we won't see this black clouds so much we want to see a little bit of the sun there maybe what i'm gonna do is go up to effect i'm sorry layers new adjustment layer and what i'm gonna do is gonna drop a lens flare effect on it there and I'm going to position it there is the sun roughly there yep and uh, tie the brightness down a little bit something like that okay 
maybe we got yeah something like that so when I apply it you can see like the sun is shining but because the clouds are there and this cloud what's coming is gonna cover it out so because the clouds covering out you can't see the sun for real what I'm gonna have to do is move it there so what I'm gonna have to do is position it and before the cloud will cover the sun click on the adjustment layer bring up the transformation and we're going to ch um, keyframe the opacity so what we're gonna do is leave it on 100 there and move it until the cloud comes in there the cloud is covering the sun what we're gonna have to do is take it down not to zero but but 34 just to make it look like it's coming you can still see a little bit the sun it doesn't matter I just take it down a little bit yeah something like that move it till it comes back out you can see the sun it's the white spot and it comes out before it comes out you're going to have to just put another keyframe in there there yep and move it then it comes back put it back to a hundred yep yeah, that's looking good. So when I apply it, what will happen? Scroll through, you can see the sun, the clouds is coming in and it covers it. And the cloud is going away and the sun comes back there. All right, so that's all good. What I'm gonna do now is just going to put um, some smoke to the foreground. What I'm gonna use is from from Video Copilot Action Essential 2. Just drop it in. Right, so we get. That smoke effect. I have to scale it up a little bit. Something like that. Maybe I turn it around this way. Probably I'm gonna put blur on it. just to blur it a little bit okay add another one just copy paste and just turn it around from this way something like that Maybe it's a little too much. I'm going to click on the opacity and take it down a little bit on the other one as well. Something like that. Just have to play around with it until you're happy. All right, so now what I'm going to do once you're finished with everything and you're happy with it, I'm going to render it out. a quick render all right it finished rendering what we're we going to do is um go back to our project okay so are we rendered it out we're going to import our footage what we just rendered i'm gonna just drop it in there and 
this time instead of dropping into a new composition I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to change the size we rendered it out in a big size I'm just going to show you why it's going to change it to 1920 by 1080 um, 25 frame rate it's all good 15 seconds duration that's all fine click on OK so we rendered it out in a big size in a bigger resolution because now I'm going to drop it on okay so this is a full HD size 1920 by 1080 because I rendered it out in a big size so now I can move it around and I won't lose any quality of the video what we just rendered out so what I'm going to do is click on the footage scale it down a little bit something like that so that's what we're going to see I just position it onto the first frame what I'm gonna see okay oops now make sure you're in the first frame you position your footage where you want it how, how you want it to start and we're gonna keyframe the footage you're going to click on the position and the scale I'm going to move it up to seven seconds till the end and I'm going to move it there and I'm going to scale this up a little bit there okay so when I move back that's how footage is going to look like So that's how you turn a photo, a still photo, into a video footage. Just have to make sure you put lots of movements in there, the background, the clouds, the flashing lights on the car, the smoke. Like I said, as many moving parts as you can. Yeah, you can still color correct it. Usually I use Final Cut for color correction I just put an effect on it and play around with it and just render it out <coughs> when I'm happy with it so yeah that's all thank you for watching